Hi, it's Paul. I'm going to go through the steps to get Studio 5000 and emulate talking to factory I.O. There's a few little steps you need to do to set it up. First thing you need to do is get Studio 5000 and emulate open and running and get factory I.O. open and running and also I want you to get a program called uh, factory talk running. That's one of the Rockwell softwares. So factory talk links browser it's called. So make sure you have that running. Alright, first step is we need to set up Studio 5000. And what we want to do is under communication we want to uh, select communication software. And when we try to do that, it's not going to work because we have a project open. So you want to close the project. Don't close our uh, Studio 5000. Just close the project. File, close. And once you do that, go to communication, select communication software. And you want to change it to Factory Talk Links. Right now it's set on RS Links Classic. We're going to use Factory Talk Links. So do that and then open your project again. The project I'm using is from the lab. It's on Canvas so you might want to download that project and also download the uh, factory I.O. file and then you'll be set up exactly where I am. And that'll take care of a, a bunch of work such as if I go into controller tags I've got all these inputs and outputs all set up for you, so you don't have to do that. So I suggest you start with downloading those two programs out of Canvas. Okay, couple words about Emulate. Emulate's been giving me a hard time. And believe it or not, even though it's a virtual controller, it can sometimes have faults. And so if you have good eyes and you look very closely you can see I've got all green lights here and you see my key is in the vertical position it's in the run mode. Earlier I had a fault on this controller and after a bunch of looking I found out that what I have to do is just clear the faults. So to do that you right click on the controller and clear major faults. Right now it's not showing because I don't have a fault. The other issue I had was this guy was in program mode and it needs to be in run mode. So if you're having troubles check that. Make sure that your emulate is all set up properly. Okay now I mentioned that we've got studio or factory I.O. running. So here's the scene that I did for our lab and We've got three main programs running. We've got Studio 5000. That's where we do all our, our programming. Then we've got the emulator running, which is our PC, or PLC, I should say. And then we've got Factory I.O. running, which is our virtual factory. So the emulate has to be able to talk to Studio 5000. That's how we program it. The emulate also has to be able to talk to our factory. So we have to set up two different communication pathways. Okay, let's do that. We'll go to communication in Studio 5000. Communication, who active. Talking to the PLC from Studio 5000 is very similar to using RS links. So we're using factory talk links. Here we've got our backplane, our virtual backplane, and slot 2 is my controller on the PLC. So I'm ready to go online with that. But I also want to get factory IO talking to all this. So down here under Ethernet, I'll expand this guy. And right now I've got two different computers going. I've got my desktop and I've got my laptop. So I need the IP address for my laptop. It's 10.0.0.18. Yours is going to be different. So 10.0.0.18, that's, 
That's the location of my PLC. And I need to give that location to factory I.O. So I'm going to go to factory I.O. I'll expand this. I'll go to file, drivers, and I need to select, there's a lot of different drivers. We're going to use Allen Bradley Logix 5000. And then we have to configure it. So click on configuration. And you have to put that IP address in here to tell Factory I.O. where to find your PLC. You get that IP address from your from here in Studio 5000. 10.0.0.18 is mine. So I've typed in 10.0.0.18. You have to tell Factory I.O. which slot your controller is in. Slot 2. And I'll go back to this screen now. Now what I need to do is I need to download my program into that controller from Studio 5000. So I'm going to click download. All right, it's downloaded. I'll put it back in run mode. Now I want to check my lights over here, make sure I've got three green lights. Everything's okay and I'm in run mode. It doesn't always go into run mode. Sometimes you have to tell it to go from program mode to run mode. So I'm in run mode. I've got all green lights. And now I'll go back to factory IO and I'm going to connect factory IO to that PLC. Now it's important that you download from Studio 5000 to your PLC first. You have to put that logic into the PLC before you connect Factory I.O. If you do it in the other order, it's not going to connect properly. All right, I've downloaded, I'll hit connect. And you maybe saw this all flash. Maybe I'll disconnect and reconnect it again. Watch all these indicator lights here hit my connect. You notice they all went red and then they all except for this guy went green. That means initially it didn't see the IO tags and then it did an update and it found them and it said it's, it's happy. It didn't find this inter, integer out zero. So I've got a red flag there but I'm not using that. That's where if you want to know the camera pos position it's an analog output and I'm not using it. So I've got a flag there. I don't care. And I'm online. So now I'm going to go back to my scene. And the scene has two modes. It has a build mode and a run mode. You notice I've got a little play button here. So I'm going to hit play. Put it into run mode. And now this should work. If I'm in build mode, then I can click on stuff and move it around and that's not what I want to do. So I want to be in play mode. And now I think the first step in the, in the lab is you push the top yellow button and the bottom yellow light should go on. So I push the button, the light goes on. Let's put this to the side and we'll look at I'm not sure which one of these guys it is. There it is. Bool in three. You'll see that guy from a, go from a zero to a one when I push it. There, it went to a one and back to a zero. And then there should be an out that also lights up. There it is. Bool out six. So that's going on and off. I'll go to my main program, my main routine, and we see green bars. That means we're in run mode. Now when I push my button, you notice that this went hot and then output went hot. So I'm using Studio 5000 and my emulator PLC to control my virtual factory. Everything's talking to each other and once I've got this set up, I can do my whole lab for the Ladder Logic Lab. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.